it does transition you into a very different mode of thinking and it can transition you into different modes of a security career. Now, one thing that's been interesting in the in the success of the cybersecurity pathway is outlining in a logical, clear, and yet accurate way about where uh, IT careers are. It's been interesting to see how, uh, when I first started thinking about the pathways, there was uh, an organization I know, I won't go into it, that started using the pathways idea. And I started thinking along that like, huh, well, they don't have the pathway, CompTIA has the pathway. And so then we came up with the idea of pathways. What I find, first of all, is that uh, there is that offensive security idea, you know, pen testing, which is usually very specific. As a pen tester, what you do is you find a weakness in a particular platform, a web server, like Apache server, and, and it has a patch level that's not good, or it has some bad code on it, you know, technical debt kind of thing. It has some bad code on it, and a pen tester will run that play against every single version of that, no matter where they can, based on a statement of work in the company. Okay, that's what a pen tester does. A red teamer it kind of takes that idea and is much more, uh, I would argue, much more uh, in depth, uh, much more creative because they're not just looking for a specific weakness and trying to repeat it from you know from web server to web server. They're looking at the entire IT infrastructure and are trying to find any sort of problem, whether it be, oh, I've noticed people aren't uh, shredding. Uh, the, gar the garbage as they throw it out there. By garbage, I mean the, the paper that they throw out. So that's how I get people who have written down passwords and I get the passwords and I get information about how uh, all of these systems are working together just by dumpster diving. That's physical security. That's very different. So you're looking at the physical security side as well and the personnel side and the entire hacker life cycle and, and uh, et cetera. But that's not enough. There's, there's a world in there with the red team and the pen testing. But what we're finding is that more people are really valuing the ability to trace and identify each of those things that I talked about, whether it be physical attacks or logical attacks. And as the blue teamer, the idea of somebody who can listen in uh, to all of that activity and make sense of it. They can read log files and all of that random data, seemingly random data, and go, actually, I'm seeing a trend. I can tell that there's somebody attacking here. And I can tell by analyzing the code that it's a specific attacker that I've seen before. I'll give you an example. I was talking to a, a guy who runs a, a security team for a large retailer uh, in the UK, actually. And he said that he was able to identify a specific club or group of attackers because they were using a particular form of code that had some misspellings in it and some actual <laughs> some actual uh, words in it that no other attackers there were thousands of other attackers but these other ones were very talented but they kind of had a way of communicating that identified and only blue teamers analysts can come up with that it's not just your offensive security people so yes you can move in past security plus and there is a, a serious impact in your career that will happen as you pick up red team and especially in my opinion blue team kinds of skills.